welcome you again in the classes of pvs academy in the last class we have already discussed about the sanitary and the normal landfills their particular stages that they go they gone through in the case of the composting or in the case of the decomposition so the secured and unsecured both secured means sanitary landfills and unsecured landfills we have already discussed after landfills the next thing we have to discuss is the recycling and the reprocessing of the waste so recycling is the recovery and reuse of the materials from the waste product so what you can do you can directly reuse the product that is already been dumped or what you can do you can use that product as a raw material to manufacture the new product the same product so if you are doing that that is the recycling and reusing of the material so solid waste recycling refers to the reuse of the manufactured goods from which resources such as steel copper or plastics can be recovered and reused because these phenomena so these things are not going to decompose in the environment you can use them year after year or decade after decade as well because we are no, these are not going to decompose in the environment so that's why these can be used as a raw material for the production of the same new things if suppose anything is made out of the plastic so again that plastic is used as a raw material that can be melted and that again can be used to manufacture the same uh, plastic anything else material so that is what we are doing here recycling and recovery is only one phase of an integrated approach to solid waste management that we have already seen what is integrated solid waste management so one phase of that integrated solid waste management we have seen that that is recycling and recovery as well that also includes the reducing the amount of waste produced that is the source reduction composting of the uh, waste is created if it is biodegradable that you can do the composting as well then incinerating if suppose it is very poisonous or toxic in nature so incineration can be also done to reduce the toxic effect or reduce the poisonous effect of the same thing and then suppose if it is also not possible then dumping is sure that is done with the help of land fillings so these recycling and reprocessing is the part of the integrated waste management then we have to discuss under this topic that is the mobius loop what is the mobius loop so mobius loop is basically a symbol what symbol symbol which is used to produce uh, for the products or for the producers that can be recycled or made up of recycled material so either it is denoting that this material can be recycled or it is showing that it is already made from the recycled product so that is what mobius loop is you have multiple times seen that such a kind of loops in the products on the uh, products details you can see that that particular thing is made up of the of the recycled material especially in the cases of papers or copy you have seen that cycle different companies use the same cycle for the showing the same thing that the material is made up of recycled material that is green color loop that you have seen we will see that so the american paper institute this was the main a uh, thing or main uh, institute which is involving in the production of such loops so these promoted the different variation of the mobius loops to identify different cycling purposes and we have to identify those mobius loops as well what that mobius loop is denoting so let's see some mobius loops these are the mobius loops that you can see here the very first type of uh, mobius loop that you can see here is the solid black mobius loop this one with simply a white outline so here background is white this is used to identify material that was already recyclable that is recyclable in nature so that product you can again use to manufacture the same type of product that is the meaning of this first type of mobius loop then we have the second type of mobius loops these are the other two kinds either black or white so this is either black type of mobius loop on the white or on black had the mobius loop surrounded by a circle this type or this type as well they were used for the material that was made up of the recycled paper with the white on black version to be used for 100% recycled paper so this is white on black this one it is showing that 100% recycled 
paper it is and black on white so black on the white background which is not here that is showing that mixture of the recyclable and non recyclable paper sometime it is mentioned in the terms of percentage as well this is 20% made from the recycled material rest 80% is made from the fully new raw material so sometimes this kind of percentage you can see as well that is used the material is often written in the center so either this can be a totally white circle and then the black mobius loop and sometimes it is showing the percentage value in the center to show that this is the match this is the amount of that material which is used as a recycled material and then remaining is used as a new material so what type of mobius loops you can see here mainly you can see here three types of mobius loops the very first type here is the black type on, under the hood of the white background and it is saying that the material is recyclable it is the first type the other two kinds here you can see here is this one and this one and this one showing that these are made from the recycled paper and if it is black on white version so if it is a totally black color on the white version so it is showing that 100% of the material is used or as a recycled paper or recycled material and if it is black on white for a mixture of recycled and non recycled paper so i hope the mobius loop is clear to you in the examination if you look at the till date what type of questions they have been asked in the examination so they have been not providing any images in the examination they are just asking the question based on the written question sometimes they will write down that what in the mobius loop white on black version source so white on black version we have seen that this is showing that 100% recycled paper then what the black on white version showing the mobius loop so black on white version showing that this is a mixture of the recycled and non recyclable paper so these type of the written questions have been asked from the mobius loop in the previous past papers that you can find out but till date they haven't provided these images in the examination although they can provide there is no surety that the images question would be not provided to you that can be provided to you as well so be ready for that as well meaning of all these loops should be known to you so i hope mobius loop is now clear to you then we have to uh, study the recycling process of the plastics so if you look at the plastic waste management and handling rules of the 2011 so under this plastic waste management and handling rules of 2011 it was says it was saying that the thickness of the plastic should be more than 40 micron it should be not less than 40 micron this was the rule but this was amended amended means these is the rules are modified so these rules are amended or these are modified under the this rule plastic waste management rules name is also changed earlier the name was plastic waste management and handling rules now plastic waste management rules only and this was amendment in the year of 2016 and here the government decided that the thickness of plastic should be more than 50 micron not 40 micron so this 40 micron was changed to 50 micron so few more changes were made on that time but this was a major change in the year of 2016 more time amendment done in the year of 2021 also but the nothing was major there in that amendment but now also in the year of 2022 a draft policy is ready to again uh, make amendment in the plastic waste management rules so because plastic is in the very much concern of the government right now that's why the rules are regularly modified under the plastic waste management rules now according to the plastic waste management rules 2016 what is the definition of plastic so the definition of plastic is provided in the document itself that you can find out in the internet as well so here the document is saying that plastic is defined as a material that contains as an essential ingredient on an organic substance of large molecular weight such as these all are the plastics what are these polyethylene terephthalate pet high density polyethylene hdp the small forms and full forms both are important here polypropylene pp polystyrene resins ps and other materials like bakelite melamine etc 
it is also defined as polymers of long carbon chains this is the meaning of the polythene or definition of the polythene all these materials are categorized under the category of polythene so this definition was provided in the plastic waste management rules this is the definition of plastic so i hope it is clear to you then what are the physical properties of the plastic so according to the physical properties of plastic plastics are divided in two categories the very first category here is the thermoplastic another one is called as thermosetting so what are the thermoplastic plastics that can be deformed easily upon heating and can be bent easily linear polymers and a combination of linear and cross linked polymers come under the thermoplastics example polyvinyl chloride with a small increase in temperature this can be bent easily nylon nylon are saved with the help of the temperature polythene that is small polythene that you use in the regular life so with the small heating the shape of that polythene can be also changed so these all types which are very sensitive to temperature are termed as thermoplastic then we have the thermosetting so plastics that cannot be softened again by heating once they are molded so once that is formed so it is going to be burned directly it is not changing its shape those are the thermosetting plastic these are heavily cross linked polymers come under the category of thermosetting plastics example here are the bakelite melamine etc bakelite is used for making electrical switches so they cannot resist too much amount of temperature and if there is any burning or if there is any heating so automatically the switches can be burned out there and it cannot be reusable because they cannot be remolded that is not possible whereas melamine is used for the floor tiles in the floor tiles the melamine is used so this you can remember about the bakelite and melamine then like we have uh, the indian standard 10500 for the drinking water purposes similarly we have is indian standard 1454534998 guidelines for recycling of plastic so this number you have to remember 